What does every Viking village need? A mead hall, of course. Today I have another great looking Viking set to share with y'all. A company called Let Brick sent me this one to show you, and I think you're gonna like it. Now if this set looks similar to the Viking house that I recently reviewed, that's because it was designed by the same creator. Brick's fan UI made another awesome Viking set, and it fits perfectly with the rest of the series. Similar to the last video, Let Brick's partners with various mock designers and licenses their designs. They have sets from different themes, including trains, vehicles, famous buildings, the rest of this Viking series, and even a couple from some YouTubers that I follow. So here's the Viking Mead Hall set. It has 746 pieces and sells for $60. It came in the same simple box as the house and also says that it's from Chuang Tung Technology Co. So I'm pretty sure Chuang Tung assembles toy products for various companies. The pieces come in a few bags and the instructions are a PDF document on a flash drive. It's actually four gigabytes, which is unnecessarily big, but I guess it's useful for other things. The bricks feel top notch and look like Go Bricks or something comparable. Once again, the instructions are well made and easy to follow. I had an enjoyable build and think the final product looks great. There are some great features that allow easy access to the inside, and I only had a couple of nitpicky issues. If you saw the house video, you'll notice that this building has the same styling with reddish brown rounded bricks and thatched looking roofs in tan. It sits on a dark tan base that measures 20 by 32 studs. There's plenty of melting snow both on the roof and ground along with a few withered plants. Spring must be just around the corner. This building looks great from every angle with the shorter end sections and the taller middle section. The vented cupola, which lets out smoke from the fire inside, gives it even more height. I think my favorite view is from this angle where you can see all six of the crossed fascia boards. There's an old wheel around back, and the middle section has two windows on each side. Out front there's a barrel of weapons and a door that opens with a shield mounted up above. The inside is really easy to access. Both of the two ends disconnect from some Technic pins. And then the middle section has a removable roof and wall on one side. These big roof panels do come off kind of easily though, so be careful when angling them. Although they're easy to reattach if you need to. The front section just has the door and a beverage barrel in it. The middle section has most of the details. There's a large fire pit in the middle for cooking meals and another beverage barrel in the corner. On the other side, there's a large table with some mugs and four stools. Now the instructions show the top of these stools as logs. I'm not surprised by the lack of printing, but I wish they had included some stickers. Actually, I probably wouldn't even have thought about it if it wasn't in the instructions, so they could have just updated them to match. The other nitpicky issue I had was with these torches. The instructions show them the other way around, but the flame pieces won't attach like that. So you either need to add a round one by one plate with the hole in it, or you can mount them upside down like I did, and they'll just be lower than intended. It's not that big of a deal and an easy fix. Finishing off the main section, I am a big fan of the sheepskin on the floor, as well as with the antlers hanging over the archway. The back section comprises of a platform and a throne for the king, or whatever Vikings have. To me, the tan pieces suggest that the throne is covered in fur. There are also some torches on either side and some imposing axes overhead. I really like this set and think it looks great with the Viking house and the other sets in the series. If you like how it looks and want to expand your Viking area, I think $60 is a pretty fair price. If this was a set from Lego, I'm guessing it would include a couple of minifigs and probably sell for around $80. And in case you're wondering, the parts on Bricklink would currently cost you $76 from three sellers in the US, so probably around $95 total. Now I'm not trying to sell you on this, it doesn't matter to me if you buy this or not, I was just trying to give you some comparison. But if you are on the fence, Let Bricks does currently have a 12% off coupon, and I'll leave that for you down below. Let me know what set you like best, and if you haven't seen this Viking house yet, that video for you is right here.